Your high today reached 45 degrees. It was well above normal, both for your high and your low, with a low of only 38 degrees. Unfortunately, if you liked those temperatures, things are changing tonight and into tomorrow. Your high will only be 34 degrees in Dayton tomorrow. It'll be a bit warmer closer to the Ohio River. We're looking at a high of 39 degrees there in Cincinnati. Temperatures are beginning to drop. Our cooling trend is on the way. We're already three degrees cooler than the same time yesterday in Dayton. And temperatures over the next 12 hours will drop below freezing once again tonight. Notice we will be in the mid 30s for much of the night with cloudy conditions, but by the time we head into early Sunday morning, we will start to see a few breaks in the clouds and temperatures will be allowed to drop into the lower 20s over night. So here's the breakdown on our satellite radar imagery. You can see the cloud coverage. We are even tracking a few light showers across the area that remains possible into the night. And with those temperatures dropping on the colder side with a low of 28 degrees, there is a chance for a few flurries tonight. No accumulation expected tonight, but that changes as we look ahead to tomorrow. 34 degrees. Your high will be mostly dry during the day, but snow will begin to move in late Sunday night. Winds will be on the west 5 to 10 miles per hour in your hour hour forecast notice like I mentioned, most of the day is going to be dry. We may even see a bit of sunshine early on with those temperatures starting off Sunday in the lower or the upper 20s. And then we start to see a brief rise in temperatures, but only into the mid 30s. Then the cloud coverage really increases as we head into Sunday evening. And now here's the breakdown on future track. Once again, like I mentioned, a few isolated showers remain possible tonight and even the chance for a few snow flurries, especially for our northern counties, but even a few may mix in uh, south of I-70. Very isolated, just a few flurries, nothing to worry about tonight. Then Sunday, a few breaks in the clouds, but watch what happens. Looking to the southwest, cloud coverage increases from the south to the north and then the snow follows behind that. So around 9 p.m., we start to see some snow beginning to fall across the south and becoming widespread by 2 a.m. early Monday morning and then by Monday around the time you're leaving your house possibly to head to work or school if you're still in it and then notice we are looking at uh, a break from the snow but there will be some snow on the ground that could be impacting travel as well as even some freezing mist or rain in the area so that's something we'll keep a close eye on for now on our choice Stouter Center camera just some cloud coverage, a brief sunlight right at sunset, but overall not much. 40 degrees is our current temperature in Dayton. Over the next few hours, don't forget those temperatures will be in the 30s with a chance for some showers in the area. In your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, the wet and slick conditions will continue through the early part of the week. Even some snow possible Tuesday morning. And then we start to dry out. Temperatures very cold midweek. Your high only 26 degrees there on Wednesday. But hey, there's a brief warming trend as we end the week, so it starts a little bit messy, but we do look to end next week on a bit of a warmer and sunnier note with highs in the 40s. We'll take that. I'm sure this is one of the only stretches of the year where people are looking forward to some snow. Not going to get a big accumulation yet, though. Yeah, it's definitely a mix. People traveling, not sure they want the snow, but people sticking around, they want a white Christmas. There you go. All right, Carly, thank you. Hunch tonight.